Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. It looks like Derek Chisora will face Jarrell Miller early in 2025, according to Dan Raphael, who reports per sources. Heavyweight fight between Derek Chisora and Jarrell Miller is being finalized and would take place at Fair Bait in Manchester, England, and headline a Queen's Recard. Hard to see this not being a fun fight. And I agree with uh, Dan Raphael there. This would, in fact, be a very, very good fight. I think by the end of it, because I think this probably does go quite a few rounds, if not the distance, both these guys are going to be blowing hard and it's going to be very sort of back and forth with a lot of punishment dealt and received. And who would have thought that for 2025 that Derek Chisora would still be a headliner but that recent win over Joe Joyce where he dropped Joyce late to basically take it and get the nod on the scorecards you know would have put him into another big fight and as we know Derek Chisora he is closing in on 50 fights currently 48 fights deep in his career he has stated that he would like to get to the 50 fight mark and obviously having Jarrell Miller as fight number 49 if this comes to pass this is a pretty decent event and it's worthy of a headliner and Jarrell Miller uh, he's actually coming off a, a majority draw against uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. I actually thought that Jarrell Miller did you know narrowly take that one but it was one of those fights where Jarrell Miller effectively let some of the early runs go as Andy Ruiz Jr effectively um, punched himself out to some extent and Miller tried to take over but himself also tiring late in that one and I think these two guys the sort of style and the way that they like to fight Derek Chisora loves to get in uh, close and have a fight in the phone booth and so too Miller he loves inside fighting and both these guys will take some punishment to get their own best work away and I can totally see that being the case in a fight with these two guys if in fact it does happen because uh, you know in heavyweight boxing you can never say never but the fact that it's out there that Dan Raphael's reported it it's a pretty good sign and it wouldn't be on a Saudi card by the looks of it uh, it would be a Queensbury card I think Jarrell Miller is off contract now with Dimitri Salita so I think he is a free agent as it were so if he is and and he's getting all of you know the pay for this one I guess in effect uh, this could be a pretty tidy night for him and a sum of money in his pocket as a headliner probably um, Manchester what is that 20,000 so I think that actually this would be a big night and hopefully they would put a few other decent heavyweight fights on the undercard as we know Frank Warren's got a pretty stacked stable and Derek Chisora um, that last fight against Joyce as I mentioned he didn't look too bad I mean we know that Chisora is certainly faded from his prime and he's got about three really good rounds in him and then effectively after that he fights tired but fighting tired can be a bit of an art and Derek Chisora is one of these guys against a certain level opponent of opponent can do it and we saw that against Joe Joyce he was able to effectively just keep going keep pressing on finding the openings against the, a guy with plenty of openings to find and effectively Jarrell Miller is a similar sort of opponent he's not hard to find Miller in fact will probably welcome some of Chisora coming in letting his hands go because that will open up some opportunities for Miller and Miller himself has recently and this is back in October said that he can't slip up never quit uh, what the f you thought um, and the little clip here they're watching us they um what else he's saying we can't afford to slip up so I mean who knows if he's talking about a loss or in fact if he's uh, basically trying to say we can't slip up against the drug testers because as we know Jarrell Miller three high profile strikes against his name on the PED front but based on what we saw against uh, Andy Ruiz Jr you know that was a case uh, on that card on August the 3rd as part of that first event um, in uh, the US in Los Angeles as part of Riyadh season Miller didn't really seem to have that sort of go-go energizer um, tank that he previously had he certainly you know 
after a few rounds, did manage to um, you know t- taper off, uh, and certainly couldn't finish the fight as strong as he has in the past. And if in fact he has reformed, well, that's a good thing because I think both these guys, you know, will if they they come together, it'll be one of these wars of attrition effectively. Both letting their hands go. Chisora is the bigger puncher, but Jarrell Miller, I think, has got a pretty decent beard. He can take a shot. You know, we've seen that against uh, many guys. And Derek Chisora, you know, he's probably not going to be too worried about what's coming back from uh, Jarrell Miller. But Miller does have a tendency just to try to grind and wear guys down through his volume. But if he's off the source, then maybe he's not going to be as effective. And I don't think he was as effective against Andy Ruiz Jr. And that was a version of Ruiz Jr. who wasn't necessarily at his peak. Ruiz Jr. was well out of shape for that one. But um, I like this fight. I really do hope that they make it because I think this is a fun fight. If... You know, Jarrell Miller, Dillian White, Jarrell Miller, Derek Chisora. There's a combination of different heavyweights that I think you can throw in at the moment that are just below that sort of top tier, that are maybe just outside the top 10, between 10 and 20, where you can put them in with each other and they're going to produce some good, you know, stylistically entertaining fights. And I think a fight between Derek Chisora and Jarrell Miller is a good one so i hope this does get over the line because i think this would be very entertaining and i think they will in 2025 and hard to believe like i say chisora still headlining at this point it, they will make a big deal i think with uh, chisora closing in on that 50 fight mark and his retirement and if he manages to get through Jarrell miller and look halfway okay in the process i think we know what it's going to be it will be a back and forth slugfest you know both guys tired and sort of trying to gut it out and uh, take lumps lumps out of each other that's the sort of fight it is going to be, be i believe and if he can get through that sort of fight then he goes on to if he wins potentially headlining again i mean he has already sort of signed off um to the o2 so who knows if um Chisora, if this is a sort of sign off to Manchester, we end up seeing him on a card in Saudi Arabia for his 50th and final fight. That could happen. It probably, regardless of win, lose, or draw, he will probably still be in a decent ish type of fight for his final fight, if in fact 50 fights ends up being the last we see of him. But I like it. This fight, uh, if it gets made, and it sounds like it is uh, well down the pipeline to getting made. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. How about you? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.